Hi there today, we're going to talk about the Catherine Princess of Wales has planned abdominal surgery. Before we start the video make sure to subscribe to our channel and hide the bell icon for upcoming amazing and informative videos. Let's start the video. The Princess of Wales is being treated in hospital after undergoing successful abdominal surgery and is expected to remain there for up to two weeks, Kensington Palace has said. Catherine, 42, was admitted to the London Clinic on Tuesday for the planned procedure, but no further details were given. The palace said she wished her medical information to remain private. She is expected to stay at the private hospital for 10 to 14 days before returning home to continue her recovery and is not expected to resume public duties until after Easter based on current medical advice, the palace said. A statement from the palace said, The Princess of Wales appreciates the interest this statement will generate. She hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible, and her wish that her personal medical information remains private. Anti-poverty campaigners raise concerns over royal visits to baby banks. Kensington Palace will, therefore, only provide updates on Her Royal Highness's progress when there is significant new information to share. The Princess of Wales wishes to apologize to all those concerned for the fact that she has to postpone her upcoming engagements. She looks forward to reinstating as many as possible as soon as possible. The palace refused to confirm what Catherine was being treated for, but confirmed that the condition was non-cancerous. There will now be no international travel for the prince and princess in the coming months. The Prince of Wales is expected to postpone a number of his engagements, as he supports their three children, and it is understood he will not undertake official duties while his wife is in hospital or during the immediate period after her return home. Her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, and her siblings, Pippa Matthews and James Middleton, are to support her recovery at the royal couple's home in Windsor. When Catherine celebrated her birthday just over a week ago, the monarchy's official social media accounts shared a new behind-the-scenes photo of her at the king's coronation last year. She has seemingly enjoyed good health but was admitted to hospital while pregnant after suffering from hypermesis gravidurum, severe morning sickness. Skip past newsletter promotion. Our morning email breaks down the key stories of the day, telling you what's happening and why it matters. Privacy notice. Newsletters may contain info about charities, online ads, and content funded by outside parties. For more information, see our privacy policy. We use Google reCAPTCHA to protect our website and the Google privacy policy and terms of service apply. After newsletter promotion, she is very physically active and is frequently seen participating in sporting activities during official royal engagements. Since marrying William in 2011 and becoming an HRH, she has carved out her charity work with a focus on mental health and early childhood. The couple are reportedly hands-on parents regularly undertaking the school run. It is understood that one of them tries to be at home when the other is on an official engagement whenever possible. The number of official engagements they undertake has risen since they became Prince and Princess of Wales, and since the departure of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as working royals. Catherine has often been described by royal observers as the monarchy's safe pair of hands and as having a keep calm and carry on approach. Jamie Lother Pinkerton, who was private secretary to the Cambridges and the Duke of Sussex, and used to work for Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, told the Times, she takes time to talk to people. She is tough. She has got that Queen Mother feel in her, so that when things need doing, she is there to do them. Kate Middleton had a busy few weeks before Kensington Palace announced that she had abdominal surgery. The palace announced on Wednesday that the Princess of Wales, 42, underwent a planned abdominal surgery at the London Clinic the day prior and that Kate would remain hospitalized for 10 to 14 days following the successful procedure. While the palace said the surgery was planned, 
The Princess of Wales has not been seen in public since the start of the new year. Her last public appearance was on Christmas Day when she joined her husband Prince William and children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis for their annual family walk to church in Sandringham. Kate had a busy December. On December 5, she pulled double duty with a morning hospital visit and evening reception. Princess Kate began the day at the Evelina London Children's Hospital, where she opened the Children's Day Surgery Unit. The hub cares for children with rare and complex conditions, and Kate has served as patron since 2018. Kate Middleton with Chief Executive Gubby Aguida at the opening of Evelina London's new Children's Day Surgery Unit on December 5, 2023. Chris Jackson slash Getty Images Kate Middleton hospitalized after abdominal surgery, cancels all engagements until Easter. She puts people at ease, so much that at one point when she came to say hello, I thought people were going to start high-fiving. She is so able to connect with people and allow people to be themselves, which is not an easy task to do when you're connecting with anybody in the population. James O'Brien, Director of Operations and Improvement for Evelina London, tells PUBL. That evening, the Princess of Wales joined Prince William, King Charles, and Queen Camilla at Buckingham Palace for the diplomatic reception. The annual event welcomes hundreds of members of the diplomatic corps to the royal residence, and Kate glittered in the Queen Mary's Lover's Not Tiara. On December 8, Kate hosted her third annual Together at Christmas concert at Westminster Abbey which highlighted her Shaping Us Early Childhood campaign in its first year. As in years past, Prince William and other members of the royal family attended the carol service she spearheaded during the coronavirus pandemic. The Prince and Princess of Wales were all smiles when they arrived with Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, in what doubled as Louis' debut at the event. Prince William postpones official duties to support family amid Kate Middleton's hospitalization. Prince William, Prince George, Prince Louis, Kate Middleton, and Princess Charlotte leave the Together at Christmas concert at Westminster Abbey on December 8, 2023. Chris Jackson slash Getty Images A little more than two weeks later, the Wales family stepped out for the royal family's annual walk to church on Christmas Day at Sandringham in Norfolk. Princess Kate seemed to be in good spirits during the strolls to and from Street Mary Magdalene, where cameras caught her sweetly handing Zara and Mike Tyndall's 10-year-old daughter Mia a bouquet of red roses from a well-wisher. Neither Prince William nor Princess Kate were seen the following week, as they typically scale back their schedules when George, Charlotte, and Louis are off from school. There were plans for a catch-up with her family, including her new nephew Inigo, the son of her brother James Middleton, and wife Alizy Thevenet, and settling her children back into school. Kate turned 42 on January 9 and spent the day privately and William made his first official outing of the new year last week. The Princess of Wales met with Rob Burrow and Kevin Sinfield at Headlingley Stadium in Leeds, where he presented the friends with CBEs for their work fundraising and raising awareness of motor neurone disease after Burrow was diagnosed with MND in 2019. Kate Middleton, Princess Charlotte, Prince George, Prince William, Prince Louis, and Mia Tyndall in Sandringham on December 25, 2023. The Prince of Wales William is now expected to postpone some engagements to be by Kate's side amid her hospitalization following abdominal surgery. People understands that the procedure was non-cancerous and William has shifted his schedule to support her. The surgery was successful and it is expected that she will remain in hospital for 10 to 14 days before returning home to continue her recovery," said the statement from Kensington Palace on Wednesday. Based on the current medical advice, she is unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. Can't get enough of People's Royals coverage? Sign up for our free Royals newsletter to get the latest updates on Kate Middleton, Meghan Markle, and more.
The Princess of Wales appreciates the interest this statement will generate. She hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible, and her wish that her personal medical information remains private, the statement continued. Kensington Palace will, therefore, only provide updates on Her Royal Highness progress when there is significant new information to share. The Princess of Wales wishes to apologize to all those concerned for the fact that she has to postpone her upcoming engagements. She looks forward to reinstating as many as possible, as soon as possible, the palace said. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming amazing and informative videos.